you've ever read uh, any fanboy post on any message board anywhere, you will understand why we call this segment, But Let's Face It. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest complaints people have about geeks is that they make a big deal out of trivial things. People roll their eyes when they hear geeks say things like, uh, actually Chekhov wasn't in the Space Seed episode, so how does Khan recognize him at the beginning of Star Trek II? <laughs> <laughs> or, hey George Lucas, a parsec is a unit of distance, not time. Yes. Yeah. Or, what the hell is going on here? Hulk cannot pick up Thor's hammer. Am I the only one who read Defenders 10? <laughs> The thinking is that geeks should stop their whining and just enjoy a story without going into berserker mode from allegedly small errors in continuity or logic. And geeks have been taking a lot of heat this week for giving President Obama flack for conflating the Jedi mind melt. But let's face it, geeks are allowed to nitpick. Nay, it is our Odin-given right. <laughs> it is not the job of geeks to get everyone to sit around a campfire and sing Kumbaya. We are here to point out when you are wrong. <laughs> Either in person or on the internet, which is what that was designed for. <laughs> Look, the whining of geeks should not only be tolerated, it is necessary. I mean, let's not pretend that determining the true attendance of WrestleMania 2 isn't an important discussion. <laughs> geeks are not accumulating ridiculous amounts of knowledge for nothing. Trivia is our arena, and sorry, but we're going to be snotty about it. While that may cause some of you to sneer at us disdainfully, in the words of Seth Brundle, you're jealous! <laughs> when details are ignored in long-running franchises, big problems pop up. Marvel Comics recognized this early on and began awarding no prizes for readers spotting continuity problems. DC, on the other hand, would just block its ears and add another Earth as a response to continuity <laughs> And post New 52 DC, you're not doing much better today. <laughs> if creators don't sweat the small things now, they may pay for it later. I'm sure when they were making the original Star Trek, no one knew that VCRs, DVDs, YouTube, or torrent sites would pop up. But now, casting the same actor as both Spock's dad and a Romulan captain sure yeah. seems odd. Though not nearly as odd as the guy who played Mr. Angelino in Three's Company showing up in the first season as some random character. <laughs> Still pisses me off. I was watching a comedian on Conan O'Brien, and he was doing a bit about the movie of The Thing. He wanted to make it clear that he was not talking about the 2011 one, but the one from the 80s, directed by John Carpenter. Which is fine, except he referred to it as the original. Oh <laughs> <laughs> really? So the 1951 version produced but ghost directed by Howard Hawks doesn't count at all? I know most viewers of a late night talk show might not care about omitting a movie 62 years old, but that doesn't make it okay. Right. But on the other hand, is it right to point fingers at someone just trying to make a joke for a simple, factual slip? You bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> because you know who might take offense to that bit of stand-up? John Carpenter, who friggin' loved Hawk so much that he wanted to remake his movie. You know, I'm sorry, I know I'm going off on this, but it still ticks me off, as it should. <laughs> Perhaps the bigger question is that can nitpicking go too far? No. <laughs> no, it can't. Not when it comes from true geeks who know what they're talking about. I mean, this might seem like it's overdoing it, but if you freeze frame certain moments on the Dark Knight Rises DVD, you can spot that the whole movie sucks. <laughs> franchise need to care about the details of what's happened in order to figure out where they are going. 
And no one is better at looking at what has happened than geeks. A big part of the reason that geeks flock to nitpick is that it results in arguments that we can win. <laughs> Whether or not the movie of the two towers is good can be a tricky conversation. Whether or not elves were at Helm's Deep is an instant W. Yeah. <laughs> geeks need to have complete complaint carte blanche. And I will do you one better. Geeks must be allowed to nitpick even before we've seen something. <laughs> it needs to be okay for us to whine imperiously that the psychic squid isn't in the Watchmen movie and then say it's better it was left out after we see the movie and the war was nuts for putting it in the comic in the first place. No, I'm with that. I'm with that. Thank you, You count more than she does. Speaking of which, I know you're asking who watches The Watchmen? I mean, who keeps nitpicking geeks in check? Uh, we do that to each other. <laughs> Trust me, if we get anything wrong ourselves, the result is going to be crisis on infinite blog posts. <laughs> we police each other, and we police you. Because if you get the facts wrong, let's face it, we're going to be all over you like the zombie virus in the trailer for World War Z. <laughs> Which is sacrilege to the source material, by the way. 